I don't think self-hosted software is for everyone, but I think it's probably for a lot more people than we think it is. And it's probably for a lot more products than we think it is. There's a few core benefits and one core uh, con to going self-hosted. You know, part of the core benefits, privacy is baked in, you own the servers, you own the data, nobody touches them except you. This is great if you care about privacy, this is great if you care about compliance. The second big benefit is that pricing is simple, usually cheaper too, right? So if you go to, for the SaaS model, uh, the customer will end up paying if they use the software for years and years and years. And truth be told, after a year or two or three, you should probably own that shit by now. This is a quote from somebody really smart. But yeah, you should probably own that shit by now. Why do you have to pay for another two years? You've already paid for three years. Isn't that enough? This is because the SaaS model, as a customer, you're inherently a renter, not a landlord. You don't actually own anything. You don't own your data. You don't own the software. You don't own nothing. So this is a huge issue because you actually end up paying a lot more long term. And even worse than that, is that again, you don't own the software, which means if they want to change the product or the software in any sort of way, you don't have a say in that. You cannot revert back to the old version if you don't like the new version. If the, the company dies, a lot of companies die. It happens. It's normal. Statistics show it. Guess what? You don't get the software anymore. It's gone. Doesn't matter that you paid for three years. They're gone. Poof. Those are a few big, big, big problems that self-hosted uh, software solves. The one problem that self-hosted software comes with is that you do have to host it, right? And this is a hurdle that many people are not willing to jump over. It's an obstacle for sure. I think in 2024, and it's been proven by many, many, many other companies and people, self-hosting is easier than ever. And this is what I'm trying to do um, with my companies, I'm trying to push for this idea and I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. But certainly, it you know, SaaS offers the convenience or even if you wanna call it the luxury of not having to worry about hosting your uh, software. As I said earlier though, this convenience comes at a cost. You don't own anything.